Welcome back, everybody, and say hello to our good friend Rachel West of Eating the Ozark. <laughs> She's back. Good to see you good again. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Always. All right, so you had promised well, you were going to bring us some mushrooms. Of the forest. Fruits of the forest. Fruits of the forest. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how to prepare them, and then I'm going to talk and tell you all about them. Okay. It's going to take me a minute to cook. Gotcha. Them. I don't so think right I've ever seen these kind of things before. No. Yeah. So right well, here in a hot cast iron, I've got about a teaspoon of butter, and you can see how hot that skillet is. Oh, yeah. So right about the time that it's going to turn into something that's going to look like browned butter. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I love me yeah. some butter. Me too. Yeah, this is going to be good. So you've got some little, I've got some chopped some up. already chopped up. And then okay. here I'm going to show you how I'm going to, how I just, all you do is just pull them apart, throw them in a the skillet. There. That makes it so simple. So these are a late summer mushroom. So this is one of those bittersweet things for me because when I, I, I get to see them, but I'm also like, Summer's gonna end. I've oh, got to start gathering. These I are really talk the about last it. of the mushrooms oh. that start showing up before my winter mushrooms. So it starts so this with is, oyster. Or this it starts with morels or oysters, depending on. But morels is usually what kicks off everybody's brain in the spring season. Right. And then we get our oysters. We get chicken of the woods, which you guys saw right. me find one of those yep. out back. And then um, chanterelles will come up. And so. Uh, Chanterelles are a mushroom. They grow in um, in a low understory canopy usually. Mm -hmm. They like oak and hickory trees. They actually have a relationship with them. They trade mineral, like minerals that they mine out of the soil for the simple carbohydrates that the trees really? get for their leaves. Gotcha. So they're, 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 they're great, great friends. So you can usually find them in a dense forest there with leaf litter. That's yeah. my son. Those are, we, he gathered every one of these. As a matter of fact, he oh. cut every one of these off the I bet he loves going out with floor. mom to do this stuff. Oh, he's done it since he was, uh, since he was born. He literally rode on my back until until he was walking and so he used to cut them I'd get them off and he would get to get to pull them out of the ground when he's I have pictures of him two Aww. and three years old with them. Yeah. Cool. So um, so these though there is a look-alike and I'm gonna show you a few while these are kind of caramelizing right here and I've got I'm gonna just turn this off mm -hmm. okay. and then I'm gonna have you guys look at these over here on this end so okay. I've got an example of a large chanterelle okay and a smaller one now these always they'll grow uh, near each other but Every now and then you'll have two or three growing in a cluster. Uh -huh. um, most of the time they do grow apart. They grow out of soil. Okay. There is a look-alike called a jack-o'-lantern. And when I say look-alike, I mean from afar, the color of Close them, they enough. look yeah. alike mm -hmm. from afar. But they do grow directly. The jack-o'-lanterns, the toxic ones, grow directly on wood. There's a trick. Sometimes oh. wood's under the soil, though. So in oh. order to be able to, they have... They have true gills, though, and if you look at a chanterelle, they're not a gilled mushroom. Even though you'll see these nice little veins that come mm -hmm. up, you don't actually see those gills that you could separate yes, with tweezers yes, like yes, a regular yes. mushroom, right? Mm -hmm. So they're smooth, and even the ones that aren't smooth, they'll have something called false gills, but you won't ever see a gill that you could separate with tweezers or pick apart. That's the these. safe one. Okay. That's the safe one. There's another key ID. If you rip a chanterelle inside, they'll be pure white. Mm -hmm. So if you can uh, see that bright, bright white like cotton, a jack-o'-lantern is still orange on the inside. Okay. okay. Gonna give you one more. So wood grown. Wood grown. You, they're, they're, they're toxic. Orange on the inside. If they have, if they have orange on the inside, mm -hmm. they're toxic. And if they group together on the bottom. So these will grow directly out of soil just like this through the forest. Ah. They may be bumped picture. up against each other, but Correct, they're separate. Correct, but they're separate. separate. The others so all separate. grow from a center vein and like fingers like this. I, I looked I looked all day today trying to find jack-o'-lanterns because I see them okay. all the time. Oh, okay. And yeah. then today I wanted to bring them on the show. So I will post a picture though on eating so the Ozark. So these are separate soil, like, no gills, white on the inside. White on the inside and they also have that apricot-like smell. So. Okay, I'm and you were sure these are not the jack-o'-lanterns, right? Yeah, thousand we, didn't, we didn't look to see. You saw, well, they're all pure white on the inside. Now, the um, chanterelles, they love to grow in the same areas year after year. So after you have them, here, I've got oh. a finger one, I can't. Mm -hmm. mm. Nope, I'm going to get the one on the counter, too. Okay. All oh. right, okay, we're going to move the other mushrooms out so you guys can see this little plate of... Now, do you you like to serve these as is? I love them On just anything, like this. however My you want My dad's doing steak night tonight since we found Ooh. them. He's got, he's got a big old mess of them mm. on his counter. Mm -hmm. He wants to put them over the top of the steak. I love to dry these at, at, mm -hmm. as well and fold them into pasta. Oh. You can also stuff... You can saute them just mm -hmm. like this, which removes the water. 
I can freeze them in the muffin tin, just like I told you guys about the oysters and the others. Anytime yeah. I make a meatloaf or anything, I just thaw out a cup of those, fold it into the meatloaf, fold it into the chicken oh, pasta, anything. Those are they're delicious. Ready that is to go. very good. And it is, it's kind of and a sweet taste. And, and, and it's it's the, the fruit of the forest oh. for sure. So fruit of the forest. I like that. Yeah. And so if you have these, listen to what she said. Make sure you can identify them properly and you've got something to add to the dinner table. Those are delicious. Yeah. Mm. All right. Find out more at Eating the Ozarks and at her Facebook page. Good to see you as always. I love feeding you guys. Almost a little lobster in there mm. is what it tastes mm -hmm. like. Ooh, Ooh maybe yeah. I need to shred them and do some mixed crab cakes. Put with a little the Old Bay on them. There you right go. There. All right, I, that's next All right, week. always <laughs> thinking. Okay, up next, Conrad from the Springfield Green County Library is paying us a visit, so you know what that means. That's right. Joy's Book Club is called Order. We'll be right back.